بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم In many of Muhammad Qasim's dreams he mentions how Allah and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam teach him what to do and what to avoid and how Allah is showing him the straight path Qasim puts much emphasis on one teaching that is very 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 important and a huge key to success that is to avoid all forms of shirk First, let us examine shirk and its forms in the context of the Quran and the Hadith. Shirk means ascribing a divine attribute to someone or something that belongs only to Allah. Even limiting the power of Allah is shirk. Because if Allah is to be limited in power, greatness, or majesty, then that is something other than Allah. In the Quran, Allah says indeed, Allah does not forgive associations with him, but he forgives what is less than that for whom he wills. And he who associates others with Allah has certainly fabricated a tremendous sin. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "The thing that I fear the most for you is minor shirk." When asked, he said, "Showing off, for Allah will say on the day when people are recompensed for their actions, that go to those for whom you were showing off your deeds in the world, and see what rewards you find with them." The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Superstitious beliefs in omens is shirk." He said this 3 times. Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala said, "This morning, one of my slaves became a believer in me and one became a disbeliever." As for the one who said, "We have been given rain by virtue of Allah and his mercy," he is a believer in me and a disbeliever in the stars. But as for the one who said, "We have been given rain by such and such a star," he is a disbeliever in me and a believer of the stars. Note that horoscopes are a huge example of this and extremely widespread. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says whoever swears by something other than Allah has committed an act of shirk. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the people who will be the most severely punished on the day of resurrection will be those who imitate the creation of Allah. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said whoever makes a picture will be punished by Allah until he puts life into it. and he will never be able to put life into it. Allah said who are most unjust than those who try to create something like my creation. I challenge them to create even a smallest ant, a wheat grain or even a barley grain. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said whoever ties a knot and blows on it has performed magic and whoever practices magic has committed shirk. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said spells and amulets are shirk. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam once said, "Shirk among you is more subtle than the footstep of an ant." Qasim said how Allah told him in many dreams that Qasim, "I am helping you because you avoid shirk and its different forms." Allah also told me many times that Qasim, "I will forgive every sin on the day of Qiyamah, but I will not forgive shirk." In the modern world, shirk and its different forms are everywhere. It's very difficult to recognize shirk in the modern world. I am living in a Muslim country and it's very difficult for me to avoid all forms of shirk. Even in one dream, Allah told me, "Qasim, this world was never full of shirk like this before." A common example of a form of shirk is unnecessary picture of faces. They are even on food containers, bottled drinks, and other packages. They are on big advertisement boards and many more. If you see them on advertisement boards then only close your eyes. In clothing shops, there are mannequins and statues. If you see statues or mannequins anywhere, then move your eyes and don't look at them. Sometimes the government has rules and we have no choice but to follow them. So wherever there is government rules or other problems, then it's okay. For example, in currency, there is picture on dollars. We can have them in our pockets. On passport IDs are also okay. If there is a health issue and you have to carry medicine which has picture instruction on it, then it's okay for as long as it is necessary. But we should not have any unnecessary items in our pockets which have pictures. Shirk is common in movies when they show any false god and the powers they have. If you are watching a movie and they show a false god, then stop watching it. If you have pictures in the walls of your room, then remove them. If you have children's toys, then keep them in your cabinets and hide them when they stop playing with them. If you see any small pictures or statues in your house, then hide them or throw them in the trash. If you have beauty items, perfumes or other things which have pictures, then cover them with tape or marker. 
Even if you have bubble gum with picture in your pocket, then don't carry it with you or remove the picture paper unless you need them, or if you need them for someone else. And don't say a person is my hope, for this is shirk. Say the only hope is Allah. Picture in the phone and computers are okay, so long as it is not showing. Hide them in folders. If you have a photo as the wallpaper, then remove them. You can take pictures, but hide them, and open them when it is needed. If you visit your friend's house and they have a picture in their room, then don't ask them, just don't look at them, because it's not your property and you are not responsible for it. If they want to learn and then want to remove it themselves, then it's okay. Otherwise, do not force. The clothing we wear should not have images of living beings. Even if your prayer mat has a pattern resembling a living being, it is much advised to use a prayer mat with a simple design. If there is a need for an image, then there is no problem. This includes a presentation for work or other necessities. Whenever I avoid my eyes from shirk, I usually say SubhanAllah. Allah loves this word the most, and He raises the ranks of those who say it. Jazakallahu khairan kathir wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.